I'm Susan Lerner. I'm the Executive Director of Common Cause New York. I'm very delighted to be joined by the public advocate, uh, Betsy Gottbaum, here on my left. My right is Dick Taney from Citizen Union. Uh, beyond the public advocate is Gene Brusinoff uh, from NYPER. We're also joined by uh, Corey Barik of the Queen's Civic Congress. Uh, and by uh, John Rosenkowski of the Ravens Friend of Poe Park and Bronx. Uh, and this is the reason why we're here today. Uh, we are here to deliver this petition with hundreds of names of New Yorkers who have signed up in a very short time period on the Common Cause website to ask the council to give them an opportunity to learn about term limits and whether they should be changed in New York City or not, and to give them an opportunity to vote on the issue. Uh, this is a short period of time for hundreds of New Yorkers to weigh in. Uh, certainly, we didn't have people out on the street. We're not the unions with uh, feet on, on the street. Uh, but I think that this is an indication of how passionately New Yorkers feel about this issue. Uh, and I also want to mention something which has just come up today. Uh, there are news reports that heighten our concern that the democratic process is really breaking down in our city. Um, council members have been quoted as saying that four or five members, and if it's five members, that's about 10% of the city council, won't even vote on the term limits measure if it comes up for a vote as it's currently scheduled tomorrow. Uh, if those council members feel that they can't vote to unilaterally grant themselves the ability to run for a third term in light of the public's antipathy, uh, well-expressed antipathy to the mayor's proposal, and then uh, if indeed the mayor's proposal succeeds, the 10% of New Yorkers represented by those abstainers will have been disenfranchised twice. Once when the council, if it does, and we hope it doesn't, denies them the right to directly vote on term limits, and secondly, when their elected representative fails to do his or her job and vote on this controversial issue. So we hope that it does not come to a vote tomorrow. After the press conference, we're going to take our petition in uh, to the council president uh, and let her see uh, the number of people who have signed up. I'm asking them, take it slow, deliberate, and give the public a chance to get up to speed on this complicated issue. Thank you. We'll hear from the public advocate. Well, Common Cause is absolutely right, and the wind is helping us, uh, showing all New Yorkers how other New Yorkers feel about this really important issue. Um, first of all, I hear the council is scheduling this vote tomorrow. I keep asking them, please, to wait and have a public hearing in each of the boroughs so that people all over the city can have a chance to talk and, 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 and let their opinion be heard. The mayor just walked in, I gather, and I guess we should get to that position. Good luck. But there, to me, there is no excuse for not allowing the public to be heard on this very, very important issue. Look, I am against term limits, and I have said repeatedly I would get out there to overturn them and we can have a referendum on this issue. But the public must be allowed to, to express its voice. It's a very important piece of democracy. And I can't express it enough, and I can't talk enough about how we do have time to have a referendum. All of those issues that have been brought up as excuses just don't weigh in with me. I think the council must understand how important 
have some comments. Morning, I'm Pat Chain rushing up with the New York Public Interest Research Group. We're now at the 11th hour on term limits. We urge the Mayor Bloomberg and Speaker Quinn to take less breath and slow down a terribly hasty and reckless vote on term limits tomorrow. If the Council rushes ahead with its vote, it will greatly fuel cynicism and badly undermine local democracy. Mayor Bloomberg and Speaker Quinn stand on the precipice of the worst political decision in their careers. With 90% New Yorkers uh, favoring a referendum over council action, they are spitting in the face of the vast majority of the citizens. I can't predict the mayor and the speaker's political careers in the years to come. I do know this, history will treat them very harshly, specifically abusing the powers of government to further their own political